Dr. Shakib here from Irvine Spine and Wellness Center, your Irvine chiropractor. I've been seeing a lot these days. I've been seeing a lot of injuries to the lower back pain or to the lower back region right here uh, because people are working on their glutes. So let's, let's clarify some things. Working on the glutes means you stop the moment the lower back comes into the picture. So in this, in this situation, if I'm working by bringing my my leg back, let me step back here. If I, okay, that's much better. So if I'm bringing this to activate my glutes, which by the way, if you're doing your glutes, your glute, gluteus muscle fibers, they're kind of going in that fashion. So when they contract, they actually don't just bring the leg back, they kind of bring the leg back and slightly out. So you want to go until your lower back gets engaged. If you're compressing, the lower back at the L5 right here where your body ends and your pelvis begins, well then you're going too far. And if you do this repetitively, especially if you add a load like one of those ankle weights, or if you're on your hands and knees and you're doing the leg extension and you're really dropping your, your lumbar and you're compressing the joint here in your lumbar, you will cause irritation and cause lower back pain. So be careful. Don't go through exercises mechanically. Pay attention. Look at what area you're working on. Look at the diagram of it. Look at the function of the muscle you're working on. I know you're at the gym. You don't have all day, but invest to understand what you're working with so you don't injure yourself. So when you're working on your glutes, you do want to do leg extension, but just short of engaging your lower back. And if you're working on glutes specifically, your leg needs to go out in an extended fashion and slightly outward because that's where the muscles, uh, the fibers of the gluteus muscle go. So hope this thing helped. I would hate to see you irritate the facets or the parts of the lumbar, lower back, vertebra, compressing it because you had the good intention of working out your glutes. It's so easy to do things mechanically, but the whole key here is not to do it mechanically, but engaging the right muscles to perform the right task. I'm not a big fan of high speed exercises because the form is what matters. There are many people who do yoga poses correctly and all they're doing is they're holding the pose and they start sweating profusely. So you don't have to be busy to be effective. Hope this helped. If you watch what, if you like what you watch, oh, I can't talk anymore. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Facebook page. And do know that I'm here to answer any questions you may have. You take care.